This Ukrainian crew is driving a British Challenger 2 tank. Kyiv's forces are training to maneuver, load ammunition, and maintain Western military vehicles ahead of their delivery to the battlefield, which the UK says could be weeks away. So far in the war, both Ukraine and Russia have been using Soviet-era tanks such as the T-72. But the UK is one of several NATO members, including Germany and the US, that have offered to send Western-style tanks to Kyiv. The Wall Street Journal visited the Ukrainian troops learning to operate the systems to find out the key technical differences with Russian tanks. Keep the grips in. The British Army is taking the Ukrainian soldiers through different stages of training. They're currently three weeks into the program. First, let's look at maneuvering. Some drills are being taught on training tanks which don't have turrets. We are at the point of the advanced sections, and that's more how to use the tank in a tactical environment, how fast you can move it, how much it can take essentially before you have to basically rein it in a little bit. Grigory is a Ukrainian soldier learning these skills. The Challenger 2 tanks are slower than the Soviet era T 72 vehicles as they are heavier. Soviet-era tanks are smaller and lighter than Western tanks, so they'll find it easier to get um, up a steep hill because they weigh 45 or 50 tonnes, as opposed to about 70 tonnes of a Challenger. So when you've got steep hills, because the gun might dig into the floor when you come down the hill, sometimes you'll need to stop and put the gun over the side just to get down the hill. Then there's the differences in firepower. The Challenger 2 has a 120 mm rifled barrel tank gun. That means the inside of the turret has grooves, while the T-72 uses what's known as a smooth bore armament, which means it has a flat interior. In theory, rifling makes the gun more accurate, but it also slightly slows down the round. The T-72 has an autoloader, so there's a sort of circular cassette of ammunition in the base of the turret. That's in contrast to the Challenger 2, which requires manual loading. There are four people who operate a Challenger 2 tank. We have a, a loader operator, which is different from the, the tanks that they have at the moment because they have an auto loader in their tanks and we have a person to do that. The British Army is training Ukrainian forces to load the ammunition using a simulator machine called a Loader's Drill Trainer, or LDT. This helps the crew practice loading up the tank ready to fire. The loader needs to know how to get the big heavy 120 millimeter shell into the breech of the gun. Now that just needs practice. It's not a complicated task, but physically it's quite challenging. And it's even more challenging when the vehicle's in combat and moving around. Ukrainian forces are also learning to maintain the vehicle so they can run smoothly. We started off with the maintenance phase and the technical details phase, which is all components, how they work, um, every single aspect of the tank essentially. Lessons include how to check these rubber triangles situated on the wheels. They need regular checks during combat. Tracked vehicles do break down more frequently than a wheeled vehicle of a sim similar size. Overall, military analysts say the readiness of the Ukrainian forces will depend on how quickly they can learn. Some of the Ukrainian armed forces have operated tanks before, but most of them have not seen a tank. But getting to grips with battlefield tactics and the electronic systems on board could be difficult for those without prior experience, according to defense analysts. The number of Western vehicles provided could also be a hurdle for Ukraine. Kyiv requested 300 Western tanks, but defense experts say only around 50 to 60 have been offered so far. Russian officials attacked the pledges for tanks. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Moscow sees them as increasing the West's direct involvement in the conflict. For the Ukrainian soldiers training here in the UK, the lessons could soon be put into practice.